Hello and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall channel. Friend, I'm so grateful that you joined me. Let's get to this prophetic word from Rebecca Carey Hudson, Pineville, Louisiana. Declare unforgiveness is uprooted. Unforgiveness is a sin. Are you struggling to forgive someone? Or do you know someone who needs this truth? Maybe someone who hurt you, took from you, smeared you, rejected you, hated you. Maybe they betrayed you. Today is the day to pray and begin the process to release. Unforgiveness creates ugly crevices in the body, in the heart, in the soul. It pollutes the mind with misery and lies, with contemptuous feelings and bitterness. These are entrapments to keep you upset and afflicted and worn out. Constant thoughts create constant effects within the body. Yes, unforgiveness can bring on things within the body, sickness and disease. They're medically linked to unforgiveness. It's one thing to recognize things in the medical field that links sickness, disease, and even death to it. If this doesn't speak volumes. As a believer of Jesus, we are told to forgive those who have trespassed against us, to forgive others, to love our neighbors. I know each person has a slightly different story about why or the reasons of unforgiveness. But Jesus, Jesus paid a debt for you and I. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He redeems us, sets us free from those things. Romans 5, 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He forgave us. How powerful is his love. If you know you are dealing with unforgiveness in your heart, with offenses or bitterness, then today, make it a point to hand it over to God. Your unforgiveness is your own mistreatment to self, to your life. Unforgiveness is a trap so Satan can use his devices against you and against others. Sometimes things, yes, are changed in an instant, and for some it can be longer, but it takes a step of faith to stay. I'm doing this. I'm, I'm going to forgive as Christ forgave me. I'm going to free myself from chains, from sicknesses and diseases, which are open doors to the enemy. There is nothing better than freedom. Unforgiveness is confinement, and all your peace has been confiscated. Do you want peace? Choose to forgive, even when you think they don't deserve it. We didn't deserve it either, but Jesus paid the debt for us. Declare today, unforgiveness is uprooted from your heart. That freedom and victory are your inheritance and forgiveness freely flows in your life. Begin to declare freedom from the oppressor, for he has used you too long and blinded your heart with bitter seeds. Pluck them out in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, friend. Friend, what a great declaration for us. Lord Jesus, I know that unforgiveness is tough. Why is it so tough, Father? You freely forgave us. Lord, I pray, Jesus, that we would be able to turn, in turn, forgive others, Lord, as they have, as they have trespassed against us. Lord, we don't want unforgiveness to be the seeds that grow in our heart. We don't want that fruit. We declare crop failure to any unforgiveness in our lives. Lord, I pray that you would heal our heart. Lord, that you would pull out the offense, the bitter roots, the, the, the hurts that we have felt from other people, Lord. Jesus, that you, Lord, would do the work, that we would be, be submissive to your work, that we would be humble, that we would let you do it. Holy Spirit, guard us today. Guard us against any roots of unforgiveness. Lord, we pray that it's uprooted from our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.